Hello YouTubers, RogueMonkey Jr. here. Now, late last week, Respawn released a blog post or article, call it as you may, talking about what's in store for the next Apex Legends patch. Great things such as slow motion servers, hit registration, audio issues, and more were talked about in this post. Something else that caught my and many others' attention was the piggybacking issue. Now, Respawn describes this as players profiting off other players to get far into the game, thus being rewarded decent amount of XP without putting in any of the work, such as not picking up a weapon, firing a shot, and so forth. They mentioned they would start temp banning said piggybackers and potentially even permanently banning players that would relapse to say it simply. However, they did want to give players a head start to adjust their piggybacking behavior and actually start participating in matches as opposed to just profiting off their teammates' battle prowesses. I find this issue, and I put that in air quotations, interesting. I have myself never experienced this, or I might have simply not noticed people doing this. But I believe that this issue stems from the way XP is rewarded in Apex Legends and that players are simply gaming the system. Especially seeing as to how grindy the battle pass leveling can be. I don't believe banning players for this behavior is the way to go, but that they should rather look at their XP attribution system that is in my opinion fundamentally flawed. You get substantially more XP for staying alive longer in a game all while doing nothing than staying alive for 5 minutes but getting multiple kills. And this is what I believe should be changed. I actually did a couple of tests and just paid attention to how much XP I got for getting a couple of kills in the beginning of the round but then dying, or getting pretty far in the match all while doing pretty much nothing. And I got way more, like 5 times more XP for staying alive much longer while getting 130 damage than I did getting 5 kills but dying within 5 minutes. I do get the reasoning behind the, the way the XP reward system is now, to not punish players for possibly being mediocre at the game, but unfortunately people adopt behaviors like described previously. In my opinion, the bulk of the experience should come from personal performance such as getting the most amount of XP for kills, damage, revives, and so forth as opposed to getting the bulk of XP for simply sitting around in a match. Perhaps give players an XP multiplier for time stayed alive that would be applied on XP gained by actively participating in fights and helping out your team. Sure, you will always get some games with less action, but that's just the nature of BR games and I don't believe that banning players for piggybacking is a good idea, as this has the potential to be abused on players that I said earlier are mediocre or brand new to the game and don't particularly know what they are doing. You can't just put patchwork on a foundation that is fundamentally flawed, and I do believe that their XP reward system is fundamentally flawed. Anyways, this is a subject that I want to touch on as well as give my opinion on what can be done about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.